You know, and the sad part about it, you know, I'm already jaded and bitter, and then I'm bringing home a thief that's going to rob me. You know, it's so sad because it takes away all the fun out of life, you know what I mean? Because you want to, you know, the goal is to go out, have a good time, you know, drink with your friends if you have any. And, you know, just have a good time and stuff. And, you know, if you meet a man, he's like, how you doing? He's like, oh. You know, and, and but now you're like, oh. you grabbing your pocketbook and stuff, and you're like, oh, my God. You know, and the sad part about it is a lot of times you don't know whether they have a habit, you know, a drug user, or they're um, coming to rob you or kill you. You know, and the thing about it, when you are who I am and stuff, I don't know. The accolades have just seem to be so gone. I was watching this channel about this guy on YouTube, and he was talking about, oh, them trannies want you to call them Miss and Ma'am and stuff, six foot four motherfucking nigger, and he wants you to call her a fucking woman. This world's just going straight to hell. You know it's so sad. That's always find it amazing how the world acts like trans. You just got, just got here. You know, um, they've been here. Been here for years, centuries. And, you know, it's so sad because I always find it amazing how certain people will do a blog just to hate on something that they don't understand. And I always said before, and I would say it again, for the Christian people out there who talk about gay people, do you set responsibility every time you see a gay person murdered or a trans woman murdered? Do you set responsibility that the message you sit out there that they need to be destroyed, do you set responsibility for their death? And that's just my opinion, but I feel as though if you put all this negative stuff out there and you never know the kind of person that you're going to get in contact with when they're giving these messages, some mental person, really mental, who feels that we ought to die and stuff like that, and do they set accountability for these people that's being murdered? You know, and the sad part about it is they don't. You know they know. I know they. They could care less. At the end of the day, let's talk. Let's talk. Let's really talk about it. At the end of the day, they want to know if you could pay your tithes and they want their money. And at the end of the day, everything they're telling you not to do, they already doing it. Already done did it. You know. But you know it's so sad. You know. But it is what it is. My friend asked me, said, "Are you ever going to get date again?" I was like, "No." I'm over it. I'm over I mean men that's already married, you know, and I'm just over it. I don't wanna trade prisons with her and you know and and, and oh it's a mess. <laughs> it's a mess. It's not funny though, but it's a mess. <laughs> you want one. <laughs> oh my God, it's not funny. But it's a mess. Anyway, um, <laughs> my friend asked me, he's like, why did you transition? You know, if you don't want to, I said, listen, the same person I met before, I'm meeting the same ones now. The only difference is they're more fruitier now and they're doing a lot more activity. And the thing about it is that I just don't get it, you know, I, I, I don't get it, you know, and until I can figure it out, which I probably never will, uh, I don't want to be a part of it, I just don't want to be a part of um, dealing with a man who's on a down low and, you know, and basically I'm just some type of experimenting, you know, um, person, you know, and I don't want to tell him, you know I'm human, he's like, oh, bitch, who cares, does the dick work? <laughs> It's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. It's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. Oh, it's a mess. I feel sorry for the girls who pull out her panties for some love, honey. And when I said love, mm -mm, let me stop. Let me say it anyway. You know, but forgive me because you know I'm jaded. But I feel sorry for the girl who pulls out her panties thinking that this man's going to fall in love with her without that pay payment in her pocket. <laughs> I know you said, if that's a prostitute, no bitch, that's a smart bitch. Because at the end of the day, we dump you, bitch. You got a little something extra to get you some glue to glue you some tracks in your hair or buy you a pack of uh, nice fucking wig. Because <sighs> the men are not staying. Tell the women are not even staying. You know, it's just a mess. Oh, it's a freight train and stuff. And then you got people want to sit in front of you and shit to see what you are. You're like, oh my God, it's like a test of jail. You trying to make sure I'm going to jail? You, you want me to act like a goddamn fool in this dream? 
was a mess. We're, we're in a mess. Anyway, that being said, I just wanted to holler at you and stuff to let you know, um, you know, just to say hi, let you know I'm okay. Um, just to check in on you, you know, go check and see your comment, make sure you're all okay and you're all still with me. You know, I'm be checking to make sure you're all still with me and you're all okay. You know, I'm just doing my roll call to make sure my family is okay. Hope you have a safe weekend and, you know, you didn't get too drunk and hopefully your pocketbook, if you're watching this video, if you haven't hidden your wallet, hopefully you're getting up right about now to walk over to get your wallet and make sure you check it on your cell phone. You know what's so sad? It's not even transgender thing. People are coming to the house only. They still for the gay men. They still for the straight men. They, people are just coming in the still. It's so sad. I mean, once upon a time, you could bring somebody home, you lay in the bed and watch TV and, you know, just feel like, damn, this, this, this could go somewhere. Now you land in bed with somebody <laughs> everything you got you have to be going somewhere except you. You know, it is what it is, but it is what it is. So don't put me no mind. You know I'm jaded as hell. Anyway. I did my hair, it's still wet and stuff as you see. Um and just now I'm a good braid now I'm gonna do the video I'm gonna braid it real tight, you know, going to the back and stuff, so you know, so it can really be really tight and stuff, you know, it is what it is. Anyway. I just want to let you know that I love you and hopefully you're still fighting for your rights as far as living in your truth. Hopefully you're not outside being put out on the street. Hopefully a friend has not betrayed you today. Yeah. It is what it is though. It's sad though, but anyway. Um, I'll let you know I love you and I'll talk to you until we meet again. Talk to you then. Bye.